In this video, I'm going to tell you the whole adoption story of my Indian street dog or Indy called Bambi. Hi, my name is Ivana and I've been living in Bangalore now for three and a half years. If you've been following my vlogs throughout the years, I don't think it's a secret that I really, really love animals, all kinds of animals, cats, dogs, cows, anything that I can find in the streets of India, I will stalk it and I will pet it because I love animals so much. Therefore, I think it was only a matter of time before one of those animals would decide to adopt me. And that's exactly what happened happened over the last week with my Indian indie dog Bambi. In this video, I'm sharing the whole story with you of you know, how Bambi and I met, how we bonded, how I decided to, you know, let her into my life and how she decided to let me into her life. The whole process of adoption, settling in, and of course, the problems that we are facing and how we're moving forward from those problems. So without further ado, let's start at the beginning. How did Bambi and I meet and how did we bond? My society where I live, has an indoor garden. There is an um, in-between road and then outside there is the main road. Every day I go for a walk in the inside garden but also in that in-between road because it's a really, really nice walk and the weather here in Bangalore right now is really nice. One night, I think about three or four weeks ago, suddenly three street dogs came and they looked super, super friendly. Now, like I mentioned, I am very much an animal lover so if any street dog or any street animal looks like they want pets, I am all for it. In this pack of three street dogs, which I kept meeting every single night, there was one particular dog, which was the skinniest, who really um, responded well to me calling her. I used to do like and she would come. Then she also actually started coming into the inside garden, which is really not allowed by the society. And the guards sometimes would chase her off, but then every night she would go further and further and she would face her fears more up to a point where you know, every night I was meeting them, the three dogs, but then she would always keep following me around, even in the inside garden. It became so clear that this dog really wanted a new life. I've always loved dogs. My flatmate also loved dogs, but because I was traveling so much before, I was like, I can't do this to a dog. Like they would be left home alone so much. But uh, right now I'm not living alone. I do not ever plan on living alone again in the future. Travel has completely changed after COVID and I don't necessarily think it will come back like it was before. The conclusion was that there is a really nice outdoor area here for a dog. Then my apartment is also big enough for a dog. There is space in my life for a dog. This street dog obviously really wanted a new life so why not try to get her inside i still hadn't completely made up my mind but i did already shop for a lot of dog stuff that video is on my personal channel so you can see everything that i already bought for the dog even before she came into my house after all these nights of bonding there were at one point four nights when i couldn't come out whether i was too tired or i was just outdoors and then when i saw her again she was mad at me it was the first time that i heard her making sounds before that she was never barking or making any sounds and now she was like and looking at me like you left me where were you i haven't seen you for four nights that was the moment when my heart and my intuition literally told me you cannot leave her outside anymore this dog so badly wants to be adopted she obviously chose you or she adopted you so you also have to take that responsibility for her if there is space in my life for her which there was that was the moment when i decided to start bribing her so i bought snacks i thought you know the elevator is too difficult for her there's too much light there the security guard is there of which she is terrified and you know elevator doors and stuff like that it's just too stressful for a street dog we decided to take the stairs and i was bribing her with uh, chicken jerky i was watching some training videos on youtube on how to do that and this is the night when she first came into my apartment. She was such a happy doggo, especially the bed that I got on Amazon was an instant hit. It was immediately her favorite place. 
today is actually the 10th of September and I'm not gonna cry <laughs> but I am so so happy um, it is actually Ganesh Chaturthi an extremely auspicious um, day and um, yeah I want to introduce you to somebody our new bestie this is Bambi Bambi is like a little bit shy. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. She's super curious. So when I uh, finally got her in the staircase, she just ran upstairs. I didn't even have to do anything. Look how chill she is. I love her so much. We've been bonding for weeks now. So she's finally coming. Oh, oh, she gave you a look. She like put it. Yeah, she's being very shy, but yeah, this is Bambi. Tomorrow the vet is coming in. I've already contacted a dog trainer. First night in the home. Oh, and she's loving her bed. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I'm also overwhelmed, really overwhelmed, because I understand that a dog is a huge, huge responsibility. You, you don't just randomly get a dog. I'm, I've had cats in my life, but cats are kind of self-sufficient, like they, they don't need you to walk them. And dogs are a lot more attached to humans than cats. So just getting her, um, yeah, I don't know. It just, it just felt really, really right at this point in my life. I am ready for it. And uh, yeah, this is Bambi. <laughs> she was always very easy with letting me pet her, but spending the first night together, it was kind of scary because she would be staying in the living room and I didn't know what to expect. But Bambi turned out to be pretty much the perfect pet. She did not bark at all. She did not chew anything. She did not destroy the living room. When I came in the living room the next morning, she was just chilling in her bed. Obviously she was hungry. Yes, she was ready for walkies, but nothing like no destruction of my living room. It became very clear that Bambi was here to stay. So we did the next responsible thing, which is calling in a vet and she got immediately vaccinated. Also again, super easy, no barking, no biting, no nothing. She is like the chillest dog in the universe. Who is a champion getting fully vaccinated? Congratulations, baby. Getting all of the vaccinations and now, you're gonna stay at home for the first time alone. Then she just slept most of the day. It was Ganesh Chaturthi and I actually had to also leave her in the apartment because I had an office puja that I had to go to. It was super, super important for me also to be there and I didn't know how this would go. I know this might not be the most responsible thing to do, but oh, I'm sorry, baby, did I scare you? Sorry. Oh, mama and her big camera. Okay, I'll just talk quickly so she can get to her bed. I have to go to an office puja. Uh, it is Ganesh Chaturthi. This actually happened a little bit unexpected. And anyways, you have to work on your dog's separation anxiety or actually uh, make sure that it doesn't happen. So yeah, anyways, my life will go on. I will have to leave the house sometimes. She will have to you know, uh, be comfortable being alone at home. And that is what we are doing today. But until now, she's a, she's an absolute angel. She's just chilling. She had water. We went for a walk this morning, which was a little bit problematic, but I'll talk more about that later. Um, I'm just hoping that the evening walk will be better. And uh, yeah, she had some food. We got some medicine from the doctor. She's so sweet. She's literally an angel. Coming back to the apartment after leaving Bambi here alone for the first time, she was mad at me.
apparently I have adopted the perfect model indie dog. She hasn't destroyed anything in the house. I wish I would have put up a camera to just see what she did all of this time. She didn't pee in the house, she didn't poop in the house. She is just, I think, mad at me because I left her at home. She was quite upset when I left. Just whimpering. She doesn't bark at all. She doesn't make any other sounds. She just whimpers. She's like, mm -hmm. But now she's like not even whimpering. She's just chilling out there. And when I, when I came home, she's literally like laying like this on the bed. Living her best life, y'all. Oh my gosh, best indie dog ever. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm so happy. Hi, honey. Bambi. Bambi. You wanna go for walkies? Bambi. 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 Yeah, I think she's a little bit mad at me, but also living the life. <laughs> as soon as I fed her, she was all cuddly again, and we were all good. But then... We had to face the next obstacle. Here in the indoor garden, in my society, a leash is obviously mandatory. She did not make a fuss at all about putting a collar on her, which is one of the first things that we did just to make sure that if somebody outside while she was still roaming around would see her, would know that, oh, she is somebody. But then putting a leash on her, that turned out to be a new challenge on its own. Good morning, it is Sunday and we just went for our morning walk, which is the most difficult one because there is an inside garden area in my society and there is like an outside road and then there is the main road. In the inside garden society, we managed to completely walk with the leash. Where are you, Ben? Bambi. Hi. Hi, baby. Um, by the way, this is pretty much a self-trained dog or something because she won't step into your kitchen. So look at this. I'm walking towards the kitchen. Bambi. Yeah, she'll stop um, pretty much right there and she'll lay down. She won't step into the kitchen. She's so smart. She never barks. I'm going to finish the story about the walking in a second, but I just want to say like we've spent three days now with her. This is the third day. Yeah, this is day three. And yeah, she's just, she never barks. She, when she wants to go out for walking, she starts whimpering so that, mm, mm, mm. so she's very clear about what she wants. Oh, are you gonna step in? Nope. See? Self-trained. The only thing that we're struggling with, what I was about to tell you, is the leash and particularly in the morning. This morning we managed to completely walk through the inside garden with the leash, but outside are her friends. So the moment we step out on that road that leads to the main road, she meets her friends and she's such a happy doggo. First, I thought like, oh, I'm, we're not gonna go there because it reminds her of her old life, but that's just cruel now because you're keeping the dog away from her friends and I don't think that's okay. And her friends are super friendly and not, you know, those aggressive street dogs at all. Then when we want to go back inside, maybe she has like a very active morning routine and now I'm taking that away from her. So yesterday I didn't even manage to get her inside. She was so, um, how do you say that? I'm cooking food for her, by the way, in the background. Right now she is getting a rice and one boiled egg. I was giving her two boiled eggs, but she has also developed this kind of cough thingy. I'm not sure if it's an actual cough or if we're just giving her too much food right now. She is quite skinny. She is not used to getting like two meals a day. Dialed back her food to one egg, half of the rice that I used to give her and half of a packet of pedigree meat. Honestly, she's doing so well because she used, she's used to all of her freedom and now she's suddenly being put on a leash. There's apparently this 333 dog rule when you adopt a new dog, whether that's a puppy or a dog from a pound or uh, an indie dog like I did. The first three days, like are just reserved for adjustments. So yesterday I also canceled my social plans. I was supposed to go out to an event and I was like, no man, I, I can't leave her alone. I was traumatized the last time I left her alone and I came home to a sad doggo. The next three weeks are more for training and after three months, probably she will be a transformed dog. Already, honestly, like she is such a different dog. Hi, Bambi. Hi, Bambi. Hi. Basically her toys are her. Pillows? Oh, and she likes this to scratch her head on it and stuff. We still need to give her a bath. We're gonna do that today because we didn't want to overwhelm you, baby. 
We didn't want to overwhelm you. We just first wanted to get you settled in and stuff. Are you okay with that? Oh, she is the sweetest. We decided to name her Bambi because she's literally like, if you've seen that movie Bambi, when Bambi steps on ice, like, <laughs> what the hell is happening? And then after that, he gets confident and that's literally her with everything she does. She's first like, <laughs> what's happening? And then she's like, oh, I can do this. I can do this. And also, look at this beautiful eyes. These are Bambi eyes. Look at her. We're so beautiful, baby. Beautiful you are. <laughs> Bambi is actually the perfect dog. She doesn't bark, she doesn't run after other dogs. When other dogs from the society come around her and they're excited, she's just like, please, I lived on the streets, don't mess with me, you, you home dog. <laughs> like she doesn't even bother, she doesn't bark at them at all. She also stays around me, she follows me around. It's not like she will run away or anything. It's just that the society is making it mandatory for dogs to wear a leash which is also understandable i mean dogs are unpredictable but in bambi's case it is really problematic because i can literally see the judgment in her eyes like why are you putting a leash on me i am such a good doggo i'm following you around i'm not doing anything why do i need a leash and she's right i mean this dog trains herself only the first couple of days I think I had to say like Bambi wait when she was like pulling on the leash but now she's like self-correcting whenever she starts like running a little bit she'll be like oh wait like literally you can see her doing this by herself she's the most genius dog ever she doesn't need it it's just that the rules dictate that the dog should wear a leash that's where it becomes problematic because the moment we go outside on that you know in between road is also where she meets her friends and i don't want to put a leash on her there so she can walk around there freely with her friends she loves spending time with her friends i also think it's cruel if her friends are there and actually one of them i think is her sister to keep her away from them to completely isolate her in the indoor garden so until now the biggest issue that i've been facing is bringing bambi inside because the moment we come from that in between road indoors she is just like seriously i'm not wearing that leash you're not gonna embarrass me i don't need that i am such a good doggo and she's right and it's just so difficult to you know get her to walk up on the leash so i decided to get some help from a professional trainer in case you're not following me on Instagram, you really should because that's where I was posting the first stories of Bambi. Following those Instagram stories, I got a DM from Pooja. Just the way Pooja wrote me that message, I was like, yes, let's do this because I really, really like a professional but also a very personal approach. And that's exactly what Pooja brought for me and Bambi. Hi, Pooja. Hello. So nice to meet you. Likewise. And she is a trainer and dog sitter here in Bangalore and as you can see Bambi really really likes her Bambi How do you like Bambi? Pooja, what got you into animal training? Because um, you do multiple animals, right? Just, I think, yeah, I, mostly dogs and cats mm -hmm. because I sit dogs and cats mm -hmm. and I would say that it's not really uh, animal training as much as it is, uh, you know, uh, understanding them mm -hmm. yeah and just more training the humans around them than <laughs> oh yeah training them <laughs> that's what caesar milan also said i know i'm not supposed to mention no, there, but, but... <laughs> it, that, that is true that is true yeah i believe that oh and you're so sweet with her my god she really likes you she's she's very easy around people but like not that easy okay so no, this yeah, is huge. I think it's important to kind of allow her to give me permission to go into her space. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I I wouldn't go in without her acknowledging me. Mm -hmm. It's it's like you wouldn't like it if somebody just walked into no, your house, right? Definitely not. Yeah. It's it's the same. That's awesome. I'm so happy, you're so kind and gentle with her. No. Training no. her. Ooh. The biscuits? No. She wants the biscuits. You're not getting it. This is mine. It's not yours. It's not yours.
gostosa. She's coming. No! No! Bam, he's time. No! Ha, ah, that's another thing. So if you say no, you don't have, don't keep looking at her. Just walk away. Okay? And push push her away as well. So she knows you're talking to her. He's like the big sister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They look so much alike. Even now yeah. if you see them on camera, they look so much alike. See, but from the three dogs, Bambi is the most skinny one. So most skinny one. So this, this one, one has fat also. And this one's got more stars though. Oh really? Look at her ears and all that. Mm, okay, okay. And this one is just Ooh. well fed. No. I'm not gonna give you okay. that step in, but she is away from the bus. Mm. And they think you guys are part of her back. Okay. Play time over. Bambi, are we going home? Yes. Are we going home? No. Honey? Mambi, are you coming home? Come on! We're Mami. gonna give you a bath! Yeah. And Fuja Didi is gonna help us give you yes. a bath! Yes! Yes! Come, let's go see if you're up for a bath. This is by far the hardest part. Good, good. Getting Bambi in after yes. her morning walk. Because she's like, I want to stay outside, I want to play with my friends. And I definitely don't want to wear a collar. But, oh my gosh. Okay, the patience man, the patience. Thank Good you, Pooja, for helping me. <laughs> Thank you, This is quite for challenging. Listening. This is why when you adopt a dog, you need a trainer. Bambi. You really need somebody to assure you like how things are done. Come on. This is what Pooja is helping you with. The you patience also, man. The Bambi. patience. The endless patience. After walking around, uh, letting Pooja see the whole situation, the conclusion was that Bambi was just very, very overwhelmed with a lot of things and we just needed to give her some time. Stay consistent with the leash, stay consistent with instructions, obviously stay kind. Sometimes bribe her, but not always because that's also something that Pooja explained to me. You know, you can bribe dogs but or other animals, but then the motivation to do certain things is coming from the outside instead of actually giving them emotional support and giving them discipline in a way where they just feel more confident and understand what is expected from them. I really really like that philosophy that Pooja had because I also don't believe in bribing your pet all of the time. I mean if it's necessary you know you gotta do what you gotta do but if it's not necessary it's just easier to support them emotionally and to discipline them and teach them discipline in that kind of way. When we came outside and we met Bambi's friends, uh, initially Pooja and me both thought that it would be good to get them adopted as well, but the more time we spent with them, uh, Pooja realized that those two dogs, I named them Honey, such as Happy Doggo. And then we have what I suspect is Bambi's sister, Juna, but Juna has a lot more scars than Bambi. So it seems like they've both been like through too much on the streets to actually be adopted. And they have their own space here in the in-between um, road. They're also getting fed, they're not skinny at all. So the conclusion that Pooja gave me was that it would actually be best to leave these dogs out there because they're just too conditioned to live out on the streets. Whereas Bambi has really shown herself that she wants to live indoors and that she wants to be adopted. So that was the conclusion of meeting Bambi's friends. But then also coming inside, Pooja helped me to give Bambi her first bath ever. Is that okay? So I think the, the floor is freaking her out more than the water actually. Because she's slippy and yeah. she's like, I don't like this floor. Yeah, this floor. you want to sit down? Yeah, That's fine. fine. This is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. If she wants to, okay. you know, sure. she feels sure. comfortable, that's sure. Okay. okay. That's good. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Good 
Not gonna lie, mommy got super, super emotional, but it was more because I was so proud of Bambi. She made so many steps, got over so many fears, and just four days of being with me. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Right. Oh my god, such a good Jesus, so uh, I'm not gonna well uh, wash her face on it. No. Okay. So uh, because we don't want any uh, water to go into her ears at this point. Yeah. And I'll just wipe it down with a. Okay. Do you need oh. a shampoo? Yeah, it's right. My God, Bambi, such a good girl. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Oh my God, so much dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Is that nice? Pooja, did you give me a massage? Is that nice? Wow! Mm. So I've got some uh, free and take powder with me today that I'll put on her. Yeah. So that's gonna actually change her scent to the other dog as well. So we'll have to see how that works. Look at you! I'm so proud of you! She's so completely calm. She's this is this it is was the floor. Yeah. It was the floor freaking out. The, the, the towel has really helped. Yeah. I think the Okay now if she's crouching down, I just wanna make sure. See towel's much better. Towel's better now. Come on the towel. Oh my god, what a good girl you are. But she didn't make a sound then. And she didn't um uh, whimper, she didn't bark, she didn't So she's on. not scared. It's yeah. just uh, first of all, the sound of the cat. Yes. Yeah, she'll just get some time. Okay, just sit on this. Okay, just sit on this. Now we're gonna do the back as well. Oh, look at your tail. It's gonna be so fluffy, honey. It's gonna be so fluffy, baby. See, she's even fine with the water on her paws now. She's fine. No. This isn't. It's. She's not freaked out as much as she is overwhelmed. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. She's just like new senses, new... Mm -hmm. okay. okay, now she's finished. She's no, she's just like, uh, this, I believe, the end of my... Yeah, I think so. You guys. That's fair enough. Okay, okay. 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 We're not gonna... First of all, we're not running in a washroom. We're yeah. not running in a washroom because you're gonna fall. Nah, okay, we need, we need to stop. We need to stop. Can I get the... Can I get the towel? Before the bath, she also actually went in for her first elevator ride and now I can actually get her in the elevator if I just lift her up. It was just absolutely transformational for Bambi to have Pooja here. It gave her so much more confidence. Hey, this is a whole new dog. Who is this? Who is this? Are you saying bye to Pooja Didi? Bye. It's like oh, it's a whole a new tree. dog. Like your patience and love for her. Look how comfortable <laughs> she is. But she was from the beginning. Wow. Yeah, she was. She's wow. a good girl. Are you happy with Pooja Didi? You happy with Pooja Didi? Oh my god, she's looking at me like yes, best you never. After Pooja left, Bambi was also finally for the first time roaming the house and she really enjoyed it. But she still understands that she is not allowed in the kitchen. I swear to god, this dog is pretty much self-trained she's the most genius dog ever however we still struggle with the leash this morning for instance i was actually very very upset she was enjoying and having such a good time with her friends 
and then you know i have to go inside i have to film a video i have to work i had to bring her indoors and she was just not coming in with the leash at all I had to leave her outside and then later on my flatmate went outside and got her also with the help of the guard so that is something that we're really really struggling with if you guys have any experience with you know adopting a street dog and making them feel more secure and more comfortable with a leash please let me know down in the comments below obviously i can bribe her but it's more of a psychological thing where i literally see that she understands she doesn't need a leash and she doesn't find it comfortable so it's more of a principle that she's showing like seriously why are you putting me on a leash you know i follow you around you know i don't do anything bad towards other dogs why are you putting a leash on me and that's something that i also personally struggle a lot with in accepting that maybe that's also something that she feels because dogs are all about the vibes so maybe she also feels that that i feel guilty about that and then she's like exploiting that i don't know if you have any ideas if you have any advice if you have any tips let me know down in the comments below every day however i see bambi getting more and more comfortable indoors i see her relaxing more we just came home from our walkies oh, 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 oh. planning blocking her escape weight. i learned this from season my i'm not pushing her at all and then we found this what is this bambi what is this so it says, this is the sweetest thing ever, enjoy your new family members. And it's from somebody in the society, they didn't leave a name. Um, and just posted a thank you note on the society app. Oh, you wanna try this? You wanna try this baby? Okay, let's do this, let's make you dinner. Oh, somebody's excited. Oh, <laughs> she even wants to eat the bag. Okay. Okay, we got you, we got you. Oh, she's mad. Why are you shooting? Why are you not making me dinner, woman? <laughs> Who's gonna have din din? So I have a mix for her here with one egg, some rice, and then some, some of the new pet food that we got, and also some gravy meat. So, are you excited? I hope so. I'm trying to make a mix for her because she's not used to regular pet food. Um, so just transitioning her into this and also not to give too big of portions because I think that her digestion system can't handle. Is that good baby? Oh, somebody's enjoying the new pet food because she's not into hard foods at all until now. Oh, ho, ho. good girl. Thank you, kind stranger. We really, really appreciate it. Oh, she is loving this. You're loving it? It's good? Oh yeah, yeah. She's like, mama, why did you wait for so long? Oh, she is loving this. Wow. This morning she was actually chilling with the guards. After that whole leash incident, when my flatmate got her, the guards were petting her. Obviously she's not completely comfortable around them, but she does let them pet her. She doesn't bite, she doesn't growl, no nothing. She's just the sweetest dog ever. She doesn't pee and poop indoors. She only does that outside. She's just the most genius dog. And I'm just so excited to take this journey on of being a new, dog mommy and being adopted by bambi honestly she adopted me more than i adopted her i personally always knew that if i would get a dog first of all it would be adopted second of all it would be a little bit older dog bambi is one and a half years old that's kind of the guesstimate that we have i feel a puppy is way too much work <laughs> the disciplining that you need to do with the whole you know, um, pooping and peeing and then teaching them everything and then getting them socialized with other dogs. <sighs> way too much fuss so i already knew that i wanted a little bit older dog i wouldn't have minded a completely old dog either and i also knew that i would always adopt an indian indie dog if you are thinking about becoming a dog owner or if you know somebody who is thinking about becoming a dog owner then i hope this video serves as an inspirational story that really uh, there are plenty of dogs out there like bambi who are just absolutely genius 
and it makes more sense to adopt a dog like Bambi than to go out and shop for new breeds and you know stimulate actually animal cruelty therefore also please feel free to share this video as much as possible and spread the story that we really should be adopting more and shopping less if you want to give Bambi a virtual hug you can put a thumbs up and like this video also you can consider subscribing to my channel and joining 230,000 other subscribers it's free and you'll get a notification whenever i post a new video perhaps with an update on Bambi if you guys want that thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye